Hello there, and today we're going to be painting up some skulls, some concrete skulls. And if you've been following the channel, you might have seen um, that we casted up a load of these concrete skulls last year. So we're going to paint these up in a different style, a relatively simple style. A wash to create a kind of worn look on the skull, but we're also going to highlight the candle just to kind of subtly offset it against the colour of the skull, which would be the natural concrete colour. And we will end up with one of these, and in the video we do two. So you've got two here, as you can see. Two skulls in this relatively straightforward wash, uh, with the subtle highlights on the candle. So let's get on with it. Right, so here we go. So we've got the two skulls there, as you can see, the two concrete skulls. Getting our brushes ready and our pot of water. We've got an old cat treat container there that we can mix our paint in. And some white acrylic paint, and we'll start off by painting the candle tops, the melted candles over the top of the skull. So what we aim to do here is just to make the candles white to contrast against the natural concrete colour. So it kind of makes the candle pop out a little bit. It's just kind of sort of subtle, subtle, a subtle pop out, if that makes any sense. And get my words mixed up again. So anyway, there we are. You can see we're just uh, putting a coat of white paint there on the candle, the molten candle bit. And we'll put a couple of coats on the skulls, on the um, on the candle part. Uh, just uh, a little note, um, maybe acrylic paint might not be the ideal paint to use on this particular project using white, because the white doesn't seem to uh, give a good, good coverage with... Um, on the concrete but uh, you can uh, experiment with your own types of paint I'll probably use a different type if I was to do something similar to this again using the white but anyway we persevere so just put a couple of coats on and um, as always if I put down a, a layer of a first layer of paint it is best to wait 24 hours before before putting on a the next layer so that the paints fully dried and cured I did use a paint, uh, a um, hair dryer in this video to speed up the process, but it still wasn't really ideal. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see there I'm using the paintbrush on the paint, but I did still wait overnight to uh, let it dry. I don't usually use a paintbrush anyway, but sometimes I use a paintbrush just to speed up the video filming process. But as it happened, it didn't work on this uh, video anyway. So we waited a night and then applied another coat of white onto the candle part of the skull. And again we let that dry overnight for 24 hours and then apply our wash. And the wash will be made up, we'll make up a lightish brown colour for our wash and we'll completely cover the skulls, including the candles, with the same kind of wash. So here we are, we're going to apply the wash after waiting a day for the uh, white to dry on the concrete. We've got a jar there and we've got orange and green. I'm sort of using up the paint that I've got left over. And um, this will give us a nice lightish brown to use as our wash. And I've watered down that quite a lot to create our wash there. As you can see, I just poured in a small jug of water to mix in with the paint. And just mixing the paint together with the water and we'll apply the paint and we've got some we've got an assorted lot of uh, sponges and rags there and once we put our wash over the top while it's still wet we'll wipe off some of the paint with the sponge or the cloths or the sponge and the cloths because you might want different a different kind of texture in feel to uh, wipe the paint off of the uh, piece that you're working on. So as you can see I'm using a sponge there just to get a load off and I do use a cloth as well just to kind of rub off some highlights or rub off to reveal some highlights. And uh, you don't need to think too much about this, just kind of wipe it over to the point where you've got your desired look, you don't want to overdo it. And uh, just kind of do it naturally. And then you can see just finish off the back there. And we we'll do the same with the other skull. Apply the wash and wipe off the excess paint. A nice easy job. And I think it 
creates a very effective look. Kind of a traditional uh, way to paint concrete with your washes. Once these pieces are dry, I will seal these with some matte lacquer and then they're ready to rock and roll. So there we are, two skulls with a nice effective wash and with the painted candles in white to give us a little bit of a highlight. So there we are, job done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and over and out for now.